This is why you need to explore the shadow, to uncover the secrets that have eluded mankind for centuries. From ancient rituals to forbidden texts, the world of the occult is shrouded in enigmatic allure. What if I told you that within the shadows of history lies a realm teeming with arcane wisdom and esoteric knowledge? A place where the lines between reality and the supernatural blur, beckoning the curious and the brave. Join us on the Tristan channel as we delve into the cryptic past, unveiling stories of secret societies, mystical traditions and the arcane practices that have shaped our world. Discover the hidden symbols etched into the fabric of our history and the powerful relics that hold untold power. From the alchemical pursuits of ancient philosophers to the whispered incantations of modern-day mystics, we leave no stone unturned. Prepare to challenge what you think you know and dive deep into the depths of the occult. Because sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction, and the shadows they hold more than just darkness. Subscribe and be part of this extraordinary exploration, the Tristan Channel, where the hidden becomes revealed. Hello, and welcome to the Trist Channel. And as you can guess by the title, I'm doing another Witch Casket review. Now, like I said in the other video, this tripod is doesn't like to stand up on carpet very well, so it's going to shake like a mother chucker. Because I'm using my feet to pin it down. Which is quite funny, because the time I didn't finish the last one, my uh, legs went numb. Anyway, I, I want to do a review for every... Um, excuse my hair, boy. Um... I'm doing this before I go to bed, see. Um, I'm not going to do a review of every box I get. I just want to do a couple, you know, to give you a bit of flavour, because I'll read it for you. Part of the joy is uh, experiencing it for yourself. Um, I've had a sneak peek. I've had to put the enamel, you know, you get like, like an enamel badge in it. I had to put that tape off my coat and put it back in here for the video, because uh, <laughs> I just got excited. I got really excited. Because, you know, as it, they take the, I think, well, I think they took the payment for the, the thing on, I think it's the 30th of October. And what they do is to give everyone a chance to get the subscribe, the subs in. Um, and also, because people, you know, your, your, was it, say for example, your payday, your wages, they go in different dates, don't they? So they wait till about, what, 15th, I think it's every 15th of the month they post here. And the funny thing is, it... I mean, they might have posted mine a bit earlier because I don't know because it was the fifteenth. Don't know what day it is today. I lose track of time, but yeah, it felt like it was just the next day something. But anyway, this is which casket October issue. I haven't looked at all the stuff. I had a sneak little sneak peek. But anyway, we'll just get to it. Right, this is the October edition of which casket. October 21. I did I missed the August one. Um like I said the other video, but uh, which is a shame, but um and what I could do is if I do that you can pause it and read it, okay? Um so in this kit you've got magical telling tiles with casting cloth. Um which I'll see in a minute. It's um You'll get a gorset intuitive insights oracle. Right, okay, so oh, I'll show you a minute, but the brief thing for the okay, so the magic tiles you basically got these tiles like um, I don't know if you've seen before, like the rich rune tiles, I think, and a cloth. And then the cloth that you throw on doubles as a bag as well, which we haven't looked at yet, but we'll see in a minute. Um, the intuitive insights oracle are basically cards and to for your tarot well to use for those cards and you can use it for your tarot you get a past present future card stand a divination pendulum pendant and i was you can wear it as a pendant and it's basically easier to carry, carry around with you divination coin i iolite sorry for butch that tumbled stain with an info card that's basically uh uh
this powerful stone encourages psychic awareness and intuition and can be effective divination aid again actually if i do that and you can just pause it Ooh. Because I want to show you the goodies. I want to... It's only if you're into spoilers, if you want spoilers, as they call it. Yeah. So also you got prophetic dreams pillow pouch. It's like a mojo bag, from what I've seen. And oh, it's, I tell you, it smells gorgeous. Um, a lot of these I keep in my folder. I'll show you. Actually, I'll show you quickly. Oh. So the pouch, you know, the pouches you get, like with the kit, the candle kit and stuff in it. Let's see. Mm. I'll just give it a peek. Okay. See that which casket scrolls from. Um, see that there's the pouches with this, this spell stuff and the scrolls I keep in there because I couldn't fit it in my book of shadows, but I put them in a the folder basically. But obviously, I ain't going to use them until I want to use them. Um, I might get like a little because I've got some vintage boxes, I might use that to put in. So anyway, you've got a divinate, uh, was it, uh, Divination Incense, which by the way smells gorgeous, but we'll get to that. I'll show you these, anyway. Uh, divination Enamel Pin Badge. Alamancy's Parchment Scroll. I think that's the scroll that I was gonna, I'm going to put in my folder. Fe feature in a highlight. Now it basically says, you know, if you put a, a video or what's it on social media that you know give them a shout out and that it, it they see it and that and appreciate it oh yeah there's a new book out which i've ordered um called witchinary it's on their site and it's also on amazon i've got it on amazon because i was had to do a load of christmas shopping or try and start up now so i think anyway enough of that um enough of me waffling so yeah so this is an iolite bag this comes in a, another bag i saw my last video where it's just really cool though it's like um i do apologize the lighting in this my room is bad it's like a purpley gray stone but yeah so i was saying on the Facebook we see is even though people take the craft seriously I kind of felt like um I kind of said oh I feel like um I don't know if you remember Bed Knobs and Broomsticks classic film but you know was it Mrs Price you know she's uh, uh I mean obviously she's an apprentice witch in the film we're not saying we're all apprentices but you know what I mean but it's like it's that thing where she was like every month she'll get a spell pack or was it she start was it started with no she got no she didn't start sorry she started her course and it was was it and she got dragon's liver blood liver or something like that. so she realized that she you know so you know I, yeah i said to me yeah, i feel like mrs i, I thought it was mrs Fl no some that's a, no mrs promise price um it's a powerful stone encourages psychic awareness and intuition and can be effective donation aid low is that low light am i reading it wrong sorry if i read this wrong can help with overthinking Scattered, scattered thoughts and codependency or on addiction it's also a stone of balance of motivation confidence and clear thinking i'm assuming it's a type of purple because it's got one there <laughs> i don't mind fair i don't need a what it comes down to i don't need a bright light in my um bedroom you know i just need to be able to see what i'm doing and it's a led light so it's it's less on the electric bill when it's Funny. I had a little peek in that, but this one is uh, the Dreams Pillow Pouch Kit. Mm. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> it looks so dodgy, doesn't it? It's like, oh, smell those herbs. Oh, <laughs> incident. Did you know, right? Incidentally, not that, not that I'm encouraging smoking. Something random the other day I learned is apparently catnip you can smoke um 
which confused me. Actually, no, because I was trying to figure out something to do with, um, Lord of the Rings, because I thought pipeweed actually meant tobacco. But no, there's actually plants, apart from illegal stuff, you can smoke like a, you can smoke mud, mud, mugwort and all these other herbs that you'd use in food and stuff. It's like, it's mental. But yeah, apparently you can smoke catnip. So what the fuck? And you can use it like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure you can get catnip tea, but apparently it has medicinal purposes for humans as well, but not just cats. Right, so that's that. So you get a, a little bag, like a mojo bag. Oh, what's it got? It's got something in there. That's the stas. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> little stones. See, I presume you can keep them in that bag when you mix it, put stuff together. I don't know. Because the problem I find with bags, it's like I had loads of mojo bags, the contents fall out if you're not careful. So there's a little scroll thing. And now the herbs, you sort of mix it in a bag, seal it. Hang on, it comes with instructions, I'll read there in a second. Get in there. Oh, sorry, I can stick it in there. Like... Uh, amethyst chips, purple drawstring pouch, mini scroll, violet. Oh, that's what I can smell. Oh, yeah. Write your question or something you'd like insight on your mini scroll, which is that little thing came out. Uh, and tie it firmly closed. Sit with your pouch uh, to set your intentions. State the following, and then you say the incantation. Place your pouch under your pillow and see what insight comes to you in the night. Thing is, if I ever do use it, I might use it on a day where I'm guaranteed to. I have quite a long sleep because if it's work night, I don't... Oh, I'm an insomniac in it. Is, is, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, right, so I'll put that to the side. A magical blend of peppermint and pat... Pacholi? Pacholi? Uh, for use of incense, holders of ash catches only. Place away from family materials. Basically, safely, safety, safety instructions. Light the incense in a firm third eye open and let me see all the truth hidden from me. It smells fucking gorgeous. Excuse my language. It smells absolutely delightful, darling. Absolutely de delightful. Now, if I put it all next to me on the bed, then that's, I'm not going to lose it. Uh Oh, yeah, and monthly manifestations. Again, you'd have to write on them because it's got some lovely artwork on there. Can't remember the name of the artist now. It's, um, yeah, I should sit on here. Where is it? Where are you? Is it Freya? Faye, Faye, sorry, sorry, Faye. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, look at that. And that ooh. Again, it's doing that cool effect. I don't know what. I mean, it could be. I don't know. What, I know it's probably the paper. I don't know, but I do like the fact it glows on the on the film. Um, so these are the intuition. Intuitive. Actually, yeah. What I do is I'll show you the stand. There you go. First. Past, present, future. Oh, look at that. Oh. Suits you, sir. Suits you. So I'm going to leave it there a second because I'm going to show you. Obviously. Alrighty then. I think that's cool as well because it's witch casket. It's, um... Right, so Intuitive Insights Oracle. A unique oracle deck created for intuitive readers to gain... Uh, Insight into their past, present, future. This deck was created to use in many ways, depending on your style of reading. Reading style, sorry. Ask a question, pick a card, any card, <laughs> and use your intuition to decipher the message. Use in past, present, future readings. Included in more depth, sorry, include in more in-depth oracle spreads for deeper insight. 
so you don't have to do you now you've got like free card uh, spread uh, Celtic cross or whichever method you use so a nice coffin shape <laughs> oh got hiccups now it's got things like tears blessings lesson patience growth joy hard work it's funny i find in even tarot cards it's like no matter how successful you are the catch 22 typically is always hard work which is funny because i could tell you that without actually using cards <laughs> um endurance focus i mean obviously if you get like three answers that don't make sense then you can either draw i don't know i usually draw a fourth card or um it depends it, you can tell if if you've already looked at it before so if we, i've looked at it now like tears best and lesson and i shuffle it and it's like i do a reading but then i notice the cards not you know in other words what i try and do is make sure i i sometimes do a test run and check that they're properly shuffled because especially with tarot cards because it's it's a bit too much if you get three major arcana coincidentally next to each other because you know what i mean there's a, a genuine you get a genuine reading because i'm not saying you can't get two major arcana together but it's like you know what i mean if you don't shuffle them properly it's like you could have one saying oh <laughs> shit's gonna happen tomorrow or is it a great success no, you'll get a weird reading saying you'll be successful and then something bad happen you know what i mean it, you get, get a weird reading, in other words. Yes, yeah, so that's that. That's the scroll. I haven't actually looked at this yet. Oh, look at that. Oh, shek, shek. Allomancy is an ancient practice of divination using salt. You know I, I must confess, I haven't heard of that one. I've heard of lith if it's lithomancy and various things like that. Uh, read salt another message. Throw salt crystals in the air. Interpret the pack. I mean that well. I wouldn't do that one because I've had no more luck of it in my eyes. But so yeah, it's all about different elements of stuff. I'm gonna go in my folder and I sit when I get. Actually, no, I need to put stop put stuff on the side because I've got them running around. This is cool because this is um, divination coin. Use this. Uncomplicated divination tool for simple yes no questions. Hold the coin and charge it by focusing on your question. Toss the coin and see what ins I tell you what, right? And what's really cool about it, what's the thing? If you're a comic book uh, comic book nerd as well, it kind of gives me Harvey Dent vibes. You know what I mean? It's got yes. No, so you know when he flicks a coin, he goes, "Oh, heads." Heads sank bad happened. No, heads. It's like when he goes to his you know, heads, good stuff happens to someone, or you know, he tells bad stuff. And it's got that sort of thing where it's like flick the coin and. Ooh, yes. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Right. Um, have, I, have, I, have I got room to put that back in? Okay. That's what she said. So, um. Oh, yeah, that's that now. Oh, I like badges. I really do like badges. Oh, have I got it wrong way? There you go. Oh, I do like badges. You should see my work jacket. It's got loads of badges on. Um, oh, yeah, this is this is the cool... The thing is, I kind of... I must admit, I kind of like it. It's on a string because... A bit on a string. Because um, my, my problem... I might have to double knot it, though, because some pendants come undone. But... Um, the problem with chains, it's all very good, but they're so delicate. But yes, yeah, so I can lead, not with lead. Well, it's not lead, made of lead, but anyway, it reminds me of a lead uh, weight for fishing, the pendulum thing. Um, do, 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 do. Um, divination pendulum pendant gives you instructions there. Um, basically, you ask it to show you yes, no, and it swings a certain way, and then. It's, it can be used with a pendulum board or cloth. Um, I can't dig one out, it's underneath all this stuff, but um, I've got round, basically got, it's like a Ouija board with yes, no, maybe on it and different other bits on. And you can use the pendulum in correspondence to that. I'm going to probably wear that as well because it's, um, I do have a pendulum that's got, uh, made of stone, malachite, but 
I'm afraid I'm going to lose it, but it's so useful if you've got a pendulum you can actually wear around your neck. But like I said, it's the chain ones that are awkward because, um, to what do you call it, it breaks so easily. So that's this is the um, magical telling tiles. Cool, I can smell those, I can still smell those herbs. Herbs. I'm a witch governor, seriously, it's not it's not ain't dodgy. It's <laughs> Oh, look at them. Oh, sexy. Yeah, they're, like, they're pretty much like witch tolls. I'm not sure we've seen a witch toll. What's... I think there's 13 or 12 witch tolls, but... um. Oh, that's cool. Take a chance. Heavy... Uh, wait. Oh, like wait. Heavy burden. Door opportunity. See, and I like that. The fact that it's so... E oh... I can't stress how that how good that is because it's so easy. I, I don't get it wrong. I do love witch tiles. See, it's got little nice, oh, sexy. It's got nice designs and really cool designs, quality and stuff. But it's like you know the actual witch tiles. I think it's like twelve or thirteen with things like scythe, broomstick, and all that kind of stuff on it. And it's really like what the what the f? It's very hard to remember everything. Oh, look at that. Oh, sexy. Oh, very Halloween as well. Oh, look at that. So, um, actually, if I do tilt it this way, there you go. Oh, here we go. So that's one side. It's got a pretty pattern. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Oh. Have I got it the right way up? Yeah. It's going to be mirrored because it's, um, I can smell the herbs and that. Oh, I can smell the witch. You can, you can, you can tell the witch has made it. <laughs> okay, that sounds so wrong, but no. Um, Yes, there you go, physical health. Because there was one that's, um, oh God, what's it? What's it called? The stones, there's a kit you can get with stones. You get a little diagram with it. Oh, well done, Tristan. So I'm not good at putting things back. Um, <laughs> putting things away, sorry. Um, where it's got a, a, a thing that says different stuff on, and then you throw the tiles down, or stones down, sorry, and then you read what the effects are, so to speak. But yes, oh, isn't that, isn't that nice? Oh, I'm gonna keep it all in there in a sec, in, for the moment. Yes. Oh, apart from scrolling, I'm gonna put that folder of the back. Oh. Fingers, because I never used to be a green fingers, but I'm starting to, well, Oh, eight steady. I'm not really green fingers, but I started um, growing. Her when I say herbs, I mean the stuff you're using for kitchen cooking, medicinal, yeah? Um, like mint and rosemary and stuff like that. <sighs> What's that again? Peppermint and pacholi? Did I pronounce that right? Pacholi. Oh, it's like the other bag as well for the other herbs. The last one. Whoa. Um, make sure I've got every. So yes, that is. Shall I read? I'll, I'll read a quick description of the things. So what we looked at was, of course, went like a badger. Telling tiles. Um. A unique divination tool created by Deb Exclusive Witch Cask subscribers to take all tiles in hand and basically throw them down about six inches above the cloth. That's what she said. Um, behave. Um, yeah, release tiles. Re uh, read all the ones that land face up, which is pretty much what the stones I was trying to think of. Um, which I think is, is it Lithomancy? You know. um, do, do, do. Use your intuition, intuition to decipher messages this magical divination tool holds. And obviously got sections to help in terms of what part of your life and it's relative to. Um, as you can see, we designed a, designed the cloth as so it double as a beautiful pouch to enable you to carry them with you safely. Uh, what we've all seen, we've got the intuitive oracle cards. Uh, do a unique oracle deck created for intuitive readers to gain insight. This deck was created to be used in many ways. I know I'm reading it now, you think, for fuck's sake, I'd have to pause it. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> uh, 
yeah, so you ask a question, pick up the card, use intuition, use past present. Oh, I read that now. All right, past present, future card stand, which is what you've seen there. A practical tool to display your past, present, and future tarot. And oracle card pool. So any card set you use, from maybe oracle cards, tarot cards, you can use it for that. Jimmy Cricket. Right. I should have worn this from the day. Next time, any any like this, I'm gonna wear my thing, right? I've got it for well. Do you, uh, my excuse is I got it for Halloween, but I actually love it. Um, being being a uh, you know, of the green. Anyway. Probably, I can't. You can't see anything innocent these days. All right. Um. So, past present divination pendulum pendant, which is that you know uh, thing on the cord. Um. Da, 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 da. So we, we've read the instructions on there, which is on there. So guys, we designed this, this to double as a pendant uh, for divination on the go. Like I said, it means sometimes a lot of key, a lot of the, um, yes, darling, work it. Um, <clears throat> you can blah, 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 get the key, like a chain version. Of course, too hot, I'm getting not hot as a badger. Um... You can get a chain one. That sounds so wrong. And but the thing is, they break because they're so thin. So it's nice. It's, that's on the cord. Um, divination coin, which is the the, the yes no thing we saw. Um, use this. Use this. Un, oh, it's basically says what's on the card. And we've got the stone. Pretty much. Pretty much. Some have got more details, as you can see when you pause it. But it's pretty much the what we saw cards. I don't mean to. Sorry for wasting time. I don't mean to. Um, prophetic drawing dreams with without. Yes, yeah, so do it. Yep. So yes, yeah, you got the pouch. Yeah. Divination incense. So yeah. So you get amethyst chips, purple strange pouch, mini scroll, violet. Which is that nice stuff? <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Yes, and a divination pin. So in pretty much all of the kits you get, you'll get a nice enamel pin, the artwork thing on the card, and a scroll, as well as some really cool stuff. And also, I think I put on there recently as well, is, God, I'm sweating like a, it's, it's winter and I'm sweating like a badger. Um, that's random, but we're just rolling a bit. Um, but yeah, so I was saying, you know, we, we, it also, you also kind of think to yourself, why do I need to spend loads of money on single items or going out and hunting for stuff? It's kind of like, I don't know. It's, it, you kind of get what you need from the, the witch's casket, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Which is cool. So it's 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 not just good box of goodies. Because like I'm not saying I don't take the craft seriously, but I'm not going to lie. If you're someone who likes loot crates, because I'm I'm a bit of a geek as well, anything that's like a loot crate or a box of goodies, it's like Christmas every all the time. You know, it's like someone sent you a birthday a birthday prezi, and you get oh look at goodies. You know, and I get excited. All right, um, <laughs> sounds so wrong on so many levels, um, but you know what I mean. But it's like you don't have to. Um, yeah, so it saves you buying stuff as well. So it's cool. You get goodies and bits. Of, I mean, look. I mean, get stands you know and um was it candle holders like the other one you get so you don't need to go out, i mean think about it i mean these these items are expensive instead because i think it's um oh he called it what did i say in the last one? Oh yeah i think it's basically i can't remember the, the how much it works out to but just you know like a loot basically you need like a loot crate where it's like the loot crate itself is cheap but the items in it are up to say i don't know 70 or 80 pounds worth of stuff it's kind of like that, so it's a bargain. You're getting some really cool stuff for a bargain, which, like, I mean, if you look at that stand, if you go on eBay, they'll probably charge you, what, I don't know, 15, 20 quid? As a guess on eBay, because eBay, well, eBay's eBay, in it? Um, I mean, you can get tarot card stands on AliExpress. I cheat and go on Express sometimes with stuff, because pe people on eBay, not uh, uh, certain equipment they sell, it's like they charge you for the roof and you go on Aliexpress. It's the same item, 
but you're buying it at the price of the warehouse because they all get it from the same warehouse in China. Um, not not what can't, no, not which casket, but you know what I mean. The people on eBay and Amazon, Amazon just you know. So um, so yes, and you get the art print as well. But I think I don't think, I don't think I'm going to write on them. I think when I get round to it, I'm going to put put them on the wall somewhere. But yeah, so like I said, you have to go out and get stuff because it's like you get stuff for your altar and stuff out for in it. Oh, speak of the devil. It's just over here. Well, technically the table I'm using. Actually, I don't. Mm, my altar is a bit. I don't know it's in different places. But anyway, see, here, look, that's from the last sub sub subscribe. You know, re last review. Go check it out. Um, yeah. So what I'm saying is, um, I recommend if you, if the other one hasn't tickled tickled your fancy, the other review, God, in, do what? <sighs> My hormones must be through the roof because, yes, I know you shave and it grows back, but it's literally like Evan or Bloody Mighty. Not necessarily in the beard, which is a shame because if I wanted to rock a goatee, it'd be kind of like a proper Viking beard, then it'd be cool. But no, I can't. It didn't get that long. It just comes back like a bristle rush. It's annoying. But anyway. So yeah, <laughs> back to review. Um, but yeah, so... And it's... If you're... Oh, shit. Never mind. Um, but yeah, so it's like... I can't remember how much it is for Europe and that. It's not... I don't think there's much price range difference. But for £29 a month, you're getting some really cool stuff. And if you're into the craft... Or, if you're just into gothic stuff, like I said in the other one, it's worth getting, because it'll be up, put it away, put it away, it'll be right up your alley. And if you like, that's what she said. And if you like stones and, and just incense and things, the thing is, right, I'm going to say, ow. Ah! So my brain's firing quite faster than I'm trying to do with the thing. Um, the thing is, though, I found, I mean, over years, I've always been into the occult and stuff like that, and but sorry, I'm the sort of person, if they said, don't read that book, I'd go and read it, because I'd be like, why? And the thing is, a lot of, re a lot of things they tell you not to look into are actually mind-expanding things, or things that increase your intelligence or awareness of things. Because um, mostly it was the church who said, don't look into stuff. It's like, oh no, we don't, I mean, imagine if we brought herbalism back. You know, a lot of people say, the thing is, a lot of people, doctors say, oh, herbalism doesn't work, but most of our medicine is actually made from plants and stuff, but in a lab. Money, money, money. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I shouldn't rely but, you know, on purple. On purple. I'm not saying purposefully. Yeah, you know, just rely on herbalism and don't go see a doctor. Always go see a doctor, obviously. But I'm just saying it's kind of there's an irony there. But um, the thing is, what I'm trying to say is, if you find yourself drawn to the craft, you might have always been. You know, it was in your destiny. Oh. Especially if you, you know, the you know I mean. But yeah, so regardless if, you, if you're a part of the craft or you just like gothic stuff, herbs, gemstones, you know, you like collecting stuff because you're like a mag like me, like a magpie as well. Because I'm a bit of a magpie as well. That's why I got fucking stones galore because I'm like a magpie. Oh, shiny things! Then it's, it's going to be up your alley. So um, that's what she said. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching my review. I hope you got a, got you intrigued. And um, yeah, it's definitely worth it. Um, as always, a link to the. Website, their website. Oh, look at the state of my hair. So I'm going to bed in here. Um, the link to the website is in the description below. And um, so yeah, go check them out. And it, seriously, I, I think you should subscribe as well. Because um, oh, well, also they're bringing out a book as well. Um, so go check that out. It's on their site as well. Also, if you just type it in on, if, or if you want to go on Amazon, like I said, I only got it from Amazon purely because I had to do a lot of Christmas shopping. And it was, you know, stick it all in one basket, get it out of the way. Um, but yeah, go check it out as well. It's um, basically A to Z of different words, meaning spells, etc. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching my review. Hope you liked it. Hope got you intrigued. Well, the first one I did should have got you intrigued, but you know what I mean. But um, uh, I won't do more time. I mean, because uh, unless, of course, I know it's, it's, it's saying, it, I mean, I'm not saying, well, yeah. I won't, I won't do spoilers. I don't, I don't want to spoil it too much because I want to give too much away. Because otherwise, if I show you, it's like, you know, you know, <clears throat> same example, you subbed. I've already shown you what's coming in the box and you're like, it'll ruin the surprise. 
So I'm just going to do these two for now. I'll probably leave a gap. Um, I mean, I, I, I love these boxes, but if, okay. If there's one that's going to make me scream around the house going, you fuck it up, and, like mass, maximum epic, then I'll probably do it. You know, I'm not saying they're not epic. You know what I mean? I, can't leave, I might leave a gap. I don't want to give too many spoilers. But anyway, enough of me waffling. Again, thanks for watching. And take care and be well. Like I said, it's worth it. Go check it out. Oh yeah, just to let you know, reviewing what I recorded, what I meant, before you say, what I was meant to say was it was the 30th of September. So basically it was the, f the end of the month before the box came out, as it were. It came... Like I said, to be fair, most of the day, because of my job, I don't, most of the days, I don't even know what fucking day it is, let alone what year, time, sitting there, well, you know what I mean.